Now, I've never started an interview with, gee, I'm sorry, but in the case of C.J. Holmes, I'm real sorry about the Auburn Tigers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was uh, kind of watching the score, had a sc score up in a, uh, you know, in a, um, in a tab on right. my computer uh, right. during the game, kind of eyeballing it. Uh, tough loss, man. C.J. Ward, number 22 for the Auburn Tigers, playing for Bruce Pearl. At what point did you say, okay, I'm tired of the screens, I'm going to be a scribe? <laughs> I started early on. Um, yeah, I saw a uniform cold in the microphone. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, when I was in high school, I always, you know, I knew I wasn't going to get to the league or anything like that, but I always enjoyed reading and writing growing up. My English courses were always my strongest mm -hmm. courses. And I remember sitting in my coach's office my senior year, you know, filling out an application to go to Auburn and trying to figure out what I want to do. And, you know, I kind of turned him and just like, hey, I have no idea what I want to do. And he's like, well, what do you like? Coach Vince Walden, you know, right. what do you like? And, you know, I like reading and I like writing. And I like sports. So, you know, kind of right there, I decided I wanted to be a sports journalist. Uh, the next day, coach gave me a book called Don't Put Me In, Coach by Mark Titus, and that, that really inspired me, and I've uh, been going ever since. My name is CJ Holmes. I'm a junior on the men's basketball team. Before you left Auburn, you were actually coached by Todd Golden? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Todd Crazy. coached me my junior year at Auburn. Real quick, because I know you got to write for the Chronicle tonight on the Warriors game. What's your big takeaway from tonight's game? You know, it seemed like every time the Warriors you were know, starting to get some momentum going, San Antonio was right there to drag them back mm -hmm. down to earth. Um, real slow start. I don't think they scored their first bucket of the game until we were about three or four minutes in. And, you know, they dug themselves in a 14-point hole early, and by the time they got going, it was a little too late. But, you know, there were some positive performances. Otto Porter Jr. stepped up. Bielitsa, you know, looked, looked pretty good tonight. And, you know, that should inspire some, you know, confidence going forward. You know, Jordan Poole did his thing. I think he had, what, 24 points right, tonight. Right. Um, so, you know, the scoring's still there from him. And, you know, overall, it's just going to come down to the Warriors just really, you know, the guys are going to have to keep stepping up, right? And, you know, despite the losing effort tonight and that wild finish, um, I think that there were a lot of promising signs in this one. All right, so these last 10 games without Curry, what's your expectation? I, I, th I think it's uh, who knows, man. Yeah. yeah. Really, who knows at this point? Now, Curry's such an integral part of this team. Um, the offense is, you know, the, designed around him. The gravity, you know, he brings and, you know, drawing multiple defenders is something that really gets this Warriors team, you know, going. And, you know, without him out there, it's kind of hard to tell how they're going to fare. But, you know, if they have efforts like this, you know, especially in that fourth quarter, if they mm -hmm. have efforts like this, you know, over these last 11 or so games, then, you know, they should be in solid shape. Two more and we'll get out of here. First of all, what was it like just mid-season almost like, just hitting stride, okay, I'm a scribe for the Chronicle. It was wild, man. Uh, I think my first day at the Chronicle was on the what the 22nd. I was on the road to Portland on the 23rd. Whoa. Uh, didn't get back till that Friday. Was in the Bay Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I went on another road trip for two weeks. And uh, about to go head, head out on this road trip again uh, tomorrow. This five-game road trip. Um, it's been a whirlwind, but it's been amazing. Um, always wanted to live in the Bay Area. Um, always wanted to cover the NBA at a high level. And I'm just thankful the Chronicle gave me an opportunity to do that. And, you know, there's, it's, there's been some ups and downs. I've had some struggles here and there. But, you know, for the most part, I'm just really thankful to be in this position. And I'm um, excited to see how I grow. All right. Well, CJ, appreciate the few minutes joining us here on game day. A, a, a good luck moving forward. And enjoy the sticker shot of the tolls <laughs> and the real estate and the gas prices. Yeah, not a fan of the gas <laughs> no. prices or the tolls, uh, but uh, we're going to figure out something. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me.